Hey, Stan Deaton with the Georgia Historical Society. Welcome back. Dispatch is reporting this week from Oglethorpe Avenue in historic downtown Savannah. August 5th marks the 132nd anniversary of the birth of poet and author Conrad Aiken. Aiken was born at 228 East Oglethorpe Avenue in 1889. His life began tragically on February 27, 1901, when Conrad Aiken was 11 years old. His father, who was a successful doctor and surgeon here in Savannah, murdered Conrad Aiken's mother and then took his own life. Young Conrad said in his autobiography published in 1952 that he heard the shotgun blast and it was he who found the bodies. As you can imagine, it had a profound effect on his later life as a writer and his career. Conrad Aiken was taken in by relatives in Massachusetts and it was there, of course, that he attended Harvard where he met poet T.S. Eliot, who was a lifelong friend and confidant. Despite the tragic beginnings to his life, Conrad Aiken went on to an illustrious career as writer, author, poet, and critic. His volume, Selected Poems, won the 1930 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry. He was the first Georgia author to win the Pulitzer Prize. Conrad Aiken went on to edit or write over 50 volumes in his lifetime, including editing the works of Emily Dickinson, whose work he is credited with reviving in the 20th century. He went on to serve as London correspondent for the New Yorker magazine in the 1930s in the lead up to World War II. Conrad Aiken returned to the city of his birth in Savannah in 1962 and purchased the home at 230 East Oglethorpe Avenue, adjacent to the one he grew up in. In 1973, Governor Jimmy Carter appointed Aiken as Poet Laureate of the state of Georgia. He died on August 17, 1973, 48 years ago, at the age of 84 and is buried here in Bonaventure Cemetery on the banks of the Wilmington River in the same plot as his parents. There's a bench over his grave with his final messages. Give my love to the world and Cosmos Mariner, destination unknown. As we remember the birth and death of one of Georgia and America's greatest writers, Conrad Aiken. Stay safe, stay strong. I'm Stan Deaton with the Georgia Historical Society. As always, thank you for watching.